Here, the CPT manual begins with the topic fine needle aspiration, which is FNA. So before you come to FNA, you need to know what is an aspiration. Aspirate means to suck in, to pull out. So the physician is going to remove a fluid or sometimes even a solid component from a mass or a tissue. Aspiration means removing. This can be done by a needle. So it is called a needle aspiration technique. There are two types as fine needle and a core needle. In a core needle, you can take large amount of the tissue that needs to be studied okay, for a pathological evaluation. Whereas in a fine needle, when I say fine, it's the inner diameter of the needle, so which we call that as a gauge. So we say that as a gauge, a gauge of the 22 gauge or a 25 gauge, this is a fine needle. When the physician employs a needle which has an inner diameter as 22 or 25, you can call that as a fine needle. When a physician is going to do a fine needle aspiration, you need to figure out what is the method that he employs. Does he make use of any guidance like any imaging modalities or is he not making use of it? If a provider does not make use of an imaging guidance, you can directly select the code FNA without imaging, right? Now, how do you differentiate? When do they use imaging and when do they not? Let's take a scenario where the patient has a palpable mass. What is a palpable mass which can be felt, right? Which you can feel it, that is to palpate, to feel it. If the mass is palpable, the physician can just enter the needle into the palpable mass or the lump so that he can take the tissue or the liquid component which he has to submit to a further cytological study, right? So that is for a FNA without imaging guidance, he can resort it to a mass that is palpable. If a mass is not palpable, then the physician resorts to the imaging guidance. So under imaging, there are various techniques like, you know, ultrasonogram, or MR guidance or a fluoroscopy guidance. So we will talk about at length about all of these guidance in our chapter on radiology because we will complete it well about all the types of these imaging modalities there. But for here, it's fine that you know exactly what is a method that the physician employs while doing this technique of fine needle aspiration. And you will have to quote for the number of times he is aspirating or number of lesions he is aspirating. Is it for the one lesion or it is for the second lesion? Imagine now here is one scenario where the physician is doing a fine needle aspiration with a CT guidance of two lesions. So how do you code that? This you would put it as 1009 for the first lesion and second lesion 110 which is for the second lesion.